Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Parks Tennis Play at Home programme. I'm Liam Cassidy and in this video we're going to take a look at some important things you need to keep in mind when choosing equipment for your child. The first thing I want to talk about are tennis balls. I'm sure many of you that have, have your kids involved in coaching probably know that there are different versions of, of tennis balls. The first stage is called the, the red ball and this ball is, is actually 75% slower than a standard tennis ball. Um, it's also a little bit larger than a standard tennis ball and it doesn't bounce quite as high as a, a standard tennis ball. Uh, why is that important? Because with young kids, uh, I often see it in, in clubs and in parks that I coach at, I see parents playing with their child and making their best effort to work well with them, but the, the young child becomes overwhelmed by the bounce of a standard tennis ball. So using these coloured balls really makes a huge difference. Uh, what does it do? It, it helps it helps the child experience success. So for example, with a standard tennis ball, a typical six or seven year old player could, can probably only make one or two shots without making a mistake. Whereas you give them a red ball and that one or two shots becomes six or eight shots. And um, from a success point of view, that that's, you know, helps build their confidence and helps them feel more competent about their tennis. The next stage is, is the orange ball. And the orange ball is 50% is slower than a standard tennis ball again is a little bit lighter and doesn't bounce quite as high and then the third stage is the green ball this is 25 percent slower than a standard tennis ball uh, again a little bit lighter doesn't move quite as fast and then we're on to a, a standard tennis ball and one of the one of the biggest things you can do for your child is to make sure that you're using the correct tennis ball if you're out there practicing with your six seven eight nine year old child and you're using a standard tennis ball you're really going to make it quite difficult for them. I once heard it described this way and I thought it was a great description. It's like trying to play football with a basketball. That's how, how much of a challenge it can be. These tennis balls are readily available in most sports shops, so I would highly recommend that you take the time to, to get the appropriate ball for your child. At the end of this video, we'll have a chart um, to help you identify what ball and what racket your child may need. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the type of tennis racket that you use for your child. Uh, tennis rackets these days come in, uh, they start at 21 inches and they go, go up in increments of two inches. Um, this would be a typical racket for a six, six or seven year old. It's a 21 inch racket. And the general rule of thumb is if your child stands up straight, holds the racket in their playing hand and puts it down by the side, the racket should just about touch the ground. If the racket is uh, the big space between the end of the racket and the ground, the, the, typically the racket is too short. The general rule of thumb, however, would be that it's better that a child has a racket that's a little bit too small that they can handle, rather than a racket that's too big that they cannot handle. Um, so take some time, find out what size racket your child needs. It will depend, obviously, on the size of your child for, for their age. Um, so try to make that, that good choice as far as rackets go. When choosing grip size, it's important that uh, I'll use my racket here. So when I wrap my finger fingers around the handle, you can see that there's a slight gap where I could fit my little finger between the tips of my finger and the heel of my hand. So that is the correct grip size for me. If I were to take this junior racket, you can see that the, the grip is much too small. So my fingers touch the heel of my hand. Uh, why is that important? It's important because if the grip is too small, um, over time your child could develop problems with their forearm, they could become injured quite easily. So it is important that they have the correct grip size. In terms of the grip size, when choosing a grip, uh, very often it's, it's written on the end of the handle or it's written on the racket somewhere, but typically for uh, junior rackets for young children it will tend to be a size 00, a size 0 or a size 01. Uh, they tend to be the smaller grip sizes. Um, but as I say, by simply putting their hand on the racket and making sure that there's a little space between the tips of your fingers and the heel of your hand, um, that should be the correct grip size. Okay guys, so there were some quick tips on how to choose the correct balls and uh, tennis rackets. I hope you found this valuable. Uh, do, do take the time to make sure that you get the correct size racket and that you're using the correct ball and it will pay off the more and more you practice with the correct equipment. In the next video, we're going to take a look at how, as a parent, you can help your child develop their receiving skills.